Hi guys, welcome to another session at Insights. My name is Sudeep and I am a faculty at Insights. Today in this video, we will be discussing about our Insta revision plan 2.0 and 3.0. How to use this plan to the fullest to your advantage. We have been receiving queries of late how to use this plan. There has been some confusions, so we thought that we will make a video on this. Now before we start, I would like to say it has been hard times this last couple of months or you can say an year or so. It has been challenging for us, for you, for all the people around us. We have suffered or incurred personal losses. People are still fighting this pandemic. They are fighting with their family. Insights and the entire team stands with you. It will, insights supports you and we pray for the well-being of you and your family. With that, now coming back to the objective of this video, the Insta revision in a, you know plan 2.0 and 3.0, what is 2.0 and what is 3.0? Now the prelims that had to happen in the month of June 27th of 2021 was postponed to October 10th of 2021. So it gave us approximately 140 days, extra days for us to prepare. So in this 140 extra days to prepare, we have devised a plan to make sure that the days that you have got is used effectively. Okay? So in that 140, around 140 days that we have got, we have divided the first 70 days as Insta Revision Plan 2.0, the last 70 days as Insta Revision Plan 3.0. The first 70 days of 2.0 plan focuses predominantly on your mains preparation. Okay? And the last 70 days focuses only on your prelims preparation. Okay? So this is the difference between 2.0 and 3.0. 2.0 runs in the month of June as well as July. 3.0 will run in the month of August and September. Okay? So this is the major difference. Now let us look first into what is Insta Revision Plan 2.0. We will try to understand the you know, what, what the design of this particular timetable is. <clears throat> now, the Insta Revision Plan 2.0, I have already told the duration. The duration runs from 24th of May up to 31st of July. Okay. It is, if I have to simplify it, it runs for the month of June and July. Okay. You will have approximately 70 days for it. That is the duration. The design is, the design is very simple. The design is, to make sure that all the topics in your mains syllabus is read by you and your written answers on all these topics. So your GS mains syllabus is complete. The second is you have written answers or enough number of answers have been written on ethics. The third is you are well versed with your optional, you have prepared your optional comprehensively and then you have written sufficient number of essays. Okay. So, these are the four, uh, you know, important uh, verticals where we are focusing on to make sure that your mains preparation in the next 70 days is done comprehensively. Okay. The destination or as in the end goal of this plan 2.0 is to get you to a strong position once you are done with your prelims. So, once you are done with your prelims and let us say that you have done the Insta 2.0 plan diligently, that leaves you at a position where you do not have to read anything new you already have read everything, all you have to do is revise and then keep writing as many number of tests as possible. Okay? So this is mainly the framework of Insta Revision Plan 2.0. As I have told you, it is a blueprint for your mains preparation. Okay? Now a lot of people are you know, confused with some design uh, of this Insta Revision Plan 2.0, especially the optional part. So we will be dealing with this design a little bit more in specific. Okay? Now, if I have to take Insta Revision Plan 2.0, we are working on four variables and these four variables are going to be designed in this way. Okay? So I hope you will understand this. One is the mains syllabus. Our aim is to complete the mains syllabus comprehensively. Okay? So from day 1 to day 70, whatever uh, you know, uh, days that we have, we have divided in such a way that all the topics in the mains syllabus is completed by the end of the revision timetable. Okay. So, every day there will be the specified syllabus of means that will be given to you. You will read uh, that particular 
you know uh, syllabus and then on that every day two questions will be given to you and you will be writing answers on those two questions okay so those two questions that you write answers for helps you to recollect whatever you have read after writing your answers you can post it in the insights portal you can get it peer reviewed and don't forget to value add and value enrich this answers that you have written so that the answers that you have written will act as a notes themselves okay don't just write the answers and throw it off make sure that these answers that you have written are value added and they are stored as notes okay i'll tell you the benefit later on but that is the first goal the first goal is the main part to cover all the topics in gs 1 2 3 comprehensively and to make sure that you have written question, uh, answers to all the topics at least once so every day you will be given two questions in this gs part and two questions into 70 days you will be minimum writing 140 questions okay on gs 1 2 3 so that covers comprehensively a lot of topics within the syllabus the next is your optionals okay coming to your optionals there has been a lot of confusion of how the timetable is designed see we cannot generalize your optional timetable okay it is very easy to tell that divide the number of chapters by the number of days we have okay so if there are 10 chapters i divide the 10 chapters uh, with 70 days so it becomes 7 days per chapter is not as simple as i say because some chapters will require more time because the returns are very high some chapters though they, re they require more time the returns are very low so each chapter will have its own significance and the number of days must be allotted by you accordingly okay so optionals how to go about optionals is one take the number of chapters allot the number of days within july of 2021 how many days you have the insta revision plan 2.0 that many number of days you have to allot your optional at the chapters the number of days that you are going to spend on a particular chapter okay now hypothetically speaking let us say that i have taken chapter 1 and i have allot i have allotted chapter 1 5 days okay so chapter 1 i am reading for 5 days that is optional chapter 1 of paper 1 i am reading for 5 days and hypothetically the chapter 1 has 10 topics okay so 5 days is for chapter 1 10 topics means two topics per day so day 1 chapter 1 i have read the two topics now after reading the two topics on that day itself i'll go back to the previous year questions of last 5 years of upsc i will see what all questions have come on those topics and write down the answers to those questions i keep doing this for every day on every topics that i keep covering on that particular optionals so in 5 days i have completed chapter 1 not only i have completed reading chapter 1 but also commensurately i have gone back to the previous year questions and i have written answers on those topics that have been asked in the upsc previous year questions i hope how to go about this is go about it is very clear first allot the number of days for every chapters based on its uh, importance or relevance in upsc that cannot be customized or generalized that cannot be generalized from our end it has to be customized from your end once that is done on every chapter how many days you have divide the topics every day whatever topics that you do make sure you concurrently write the previous year questions asked on those topics okay so that is what you will be dealing with optionals okay this is where the confusing part is so i hope i have clarified it okay the next is ethics we have already released the ethics plan also okay so ethics we will be you, you you will know what topics will be asked you will read those topics on those topics one or two questions will be asked every day okay so you will be writing the ethics answers after you have read the same manner how you do the gs 1 2 3 you are going to write the answers upload it in the portal comment section where peer review happens then you are going to do some extra research to value add so that whatever answers that you have written also acts as your notes okay so ethics one or two questions every day will come up to minimum 100 questions by the end of insta revision plan 2.0 so you would have covered almost all the topics at least once all right the next is current affairs we have given within the timetable of this 2.0 the current affairs that is to be covered will be from may 2021 i'm sorry may 2020 to may 2021 that is one year of current affairs up to may 2021 will be covered it will be revised so that will give you more confidence okay so these are the four important verticals that you know uh, 
we, we, we are actually working on in this plan. Along with this, SA practice is to be done every Sundays. Every Sundays we have reserved it only for focusing on SA. So, one, the reason we are giving you the day is to make sure that you take SA very seriously and diligently and write it with all sincerity. Write the essays, make sure that you get it peer reviewed, make sure that you research more and add on value to the essay that you have written. We will make sure that we focus on the recent trends of UPSC with respect to SA and give you topics more relevant to that. Okay. For example, philosophical maybe. All right. The next is revisions. If you see the plan, we have one day of revision gap every week. We have purposely kept at least one day of revision gap every week. This is because it is necessary for you people to revise everything that you have studied for one week. Otherwise, you will not recollect anything. So, if you are able to revise consistently every week, whatever you have done in the preceding weeks or days, you will be able to recollect things for a longer durations of time. So, please make sure do not neglect the revision part and you do it uh, thoroughly. The next is the note making. The note making here is very unique. The note making is through answer writing. Okay. This is a very unique uh, initiative where you are writing the answers and after that you are value adding within the answers itself. As I told you, you will be covering around 140 answers in GS and around 100 answers in uh, question answers in ethics. So, when you keep writing those answers, your answer writing practice is also done. And when you keep adding value to this, your, it, it also acts as your notes. So, in a way, you are note making through answer writing. Okay, That is the best part about this plan. And the last thing is about MCQs. Every day until the Insta 2.0 plan ends, that is on 31st of July 2021, every day 15 questions will be given to you. It is, it is having a mix of whatever syllabus that we have announced in mains, we will try to give see if we can give the prelims aspect of it and we will be adding a lot of current affairs in it. So, 15 MCQs will be given on a daily basis till this plan ends. The reason is for you not to lose your familiarity with solving the MCQs. It is necessary to stay uh, in the groove with respect to solving these MCQs. So, this is the main uh, reason why, uh, you know, uh, the, this is the main design of the program. So, I hope this part where you people add a lot of confusions, uh, you know, you people have got some clarity on it. Okay. The next question that usually comes up with the students is, who should follow the revision plan? Okay. So, there I have created three categories, who can blindly go ahead and follow this revision plan? Because these three categories, if you want to end up at a very strong position post prelims, where you do not have to read anything new, all you have to do is revise and write as many number of tests, then please make sure that you follow this plan, you know, uh, to its fullest. Okay. So, who should follow? First category. The first category is people who are clearing prelims consistently from before. That is, they have written one or two or three mains. Prelims, uh, they have some amount of confidence in prelims. They are the ones who can go ahead. The second category are freshers who have been taking our mock tests. And in our mock test, they are scoring more than 95 plus consistently. Okay. That is the second category of students. The third category of students are people who have done their basic subjects many number of times. That is, they have revised the basic subjects many number of times. Okay. Here, when I say many number of times, at least two times should be the scenario. Okay. So, these three categories of students can go ahead and dedicate the first 70 days on preparing and strengthening your mains preparation. Okay. So, the next question is, what if I do not fall in either of the three categories? Okay. So, for people who do not fall in either of the three categories, I would not say you are weak in prelims. I would say you are still not equipped in prelims. Okay. I would say the last 70 days may not be enough for you to fully equip yourself with prelims. So, the modification what I would like to tell to those people who do not fall in those three categories is this. All right. One, you are going to follow the Insta revision plan 2.0 in such a way that every day you are going to do your ethics as everyone else will do. Okay. So, the ethics plan will not change. Every day you will read whatever topic is given. You will write the answers. You will value and reach those answers. The second is with respect to optionals, you are not going to change anything. Whatever I explained before, the same thing holds good for even you. Whatever chapters for how many other days you have, you are going to do it. And within every day, whatever topics you cover, you are going to go back to the previous year questions and you are going to write answers on them consistently. 
So ethics and optional are not going to change for you people who don't fall in this category. The only change is the GS123 main syllabus. Okay, instead of doing that main syllabus, you do the basic subjects. MCQs you solve, okay, but do the basic subjects and solve those MCQs as well. Okay, the 15 MCQs that we give, you can solve them. It will help you revise current affairs. And you also should solve, I mean, you also should read the basic subjects. It may be modern India, it may be economy, environment, polity. Keep revising these subjects and solving a lot of MCQs on this. So this is a slight modification of the Insta Revision Plan 2.0 for people who are still not equipped with prelims or the last 70 days may not be enough to get that confidence to clear prelims. Okay, for them, start from today with the modification that I have told you. Okay, the next thing is, why should we follow this plan? That should be running in your mind. When you have so much of choices, what is the reason for uh, you know, uh, uh, following this? See, the first and foremost uh, thing is, some people define success as a simple way of following disciplines every day. Okay, that is, you are being disciplined and doing things consistently, you will achieve success. Okay, so this Insta revision plan gives you targets to be disciplined. And being disciplined will obviously get you closer to success. So discipline, inculcating the discipline is one of the main goals of this plan. The targets are designed that way. So I hope that you people realize it. The second is accountability. See, a culture of accountability will always make us responsible for our own actions. Okay. So be self-accountable on what you do day in and day out. All right. Hence, the revision plan will make you self-accountable what you're doing every day. The third is consistency. You do this plan for a few days, automatically you will be incentivized to do it more. The consistency will itself push you to achieve it completely. The consistency itself starts as a self-motivator. It itself keeps motivating you to keep achieving more and more, to keep pushing. Hence, initial stage may be a little difficult, but once you get a hang of it, once you become consistent, it itself will keep motivating you to keep pushing. Okay, so please be consistent. Insta revision plan inculcates that consistency in you. The next is be an opportunist. There's nothing wrong with that, at least in this scenario. Okay, be an optimist. The difference between successful people and others are successful people tend to see positive things in every situation that they are put at. Okay, so be positive. Take these extra days as days to make sure you strengthen your weaknesses, to make the areas stronger in those where you feel that you're strong. Okay, so take it as an opportunity. The next is drain out the noise, especially the negativity that is surrounding us. Drain out all this excess information that has been overloaded or it is unloaded on you. Okay, remove all the negativity and be very positive, be very focused. The last is quantify your work. So by the end of July 31st, when we ask you what have you done, you should be quantified. You, you should be able to quantify your work, telling that I have written 140 GS answers, I have written around 100 ethics answers, I have written 6 essays. Okay, So this quantifying of work actually spills over on how you are going to prepare for the next 70 days. It brings a lot of confidence, it spurs a lot of energy and your preparation for prelims will be even more focused, effective. Okay, The last is staying ahead of the game. Staying ahead of the game is very simple. Once you are done with your prelims on October 10th, if you have followed the Insta Revision Plan 2.0, believe me, you will be in a very strong position. As I told you before, I am going to tell you again, if you have followed this diligently, done all the syllabus completely, written answers, optionals, you already have, you already have a lot of confidence. Two, you have written or read all the topics, so there is no new, read, uh, new reading to do. And all you have to do is revise and go and write the test. Okay, that is the strongest position that you can be post prelims. And that is what will this plan get you at. Okay, the last is obviously it is free. Okay, it is completely free. It is for you people and it is for you people to make very good use of it. Okay, so I hope these are convincing reasons for you people to make sure that the plan is followed to its fullest. Okay. Finally, we have uh, in the start of the class, we started with Insta Revision Plan 3.0 and I mean sorry 2.0 and Insta Revision Plan 3.0. Now Insta Revision Plan 3.0 starts from August. 
the 2nd of August, it runs up to the 9th of October. Okay. Now, as I told you, it is for 70 days and it is focusing mainly on prelims preparation. Not mainly, sorry. It focuses only on your prelims preparation because we believe the last 70 days should be focused exclusively on prelims. Okay. So, we have tentatively released the timetable. You people can find it in the portal. But Vinay sir, me, Aditya sir, Tanmay sir, when we were discussing, we felt the timetable needs to be redefined so that you students should get more number of revisions in the last two months. Two revisions will not do. So, we thought we will redefine it so that you get more number of revisions. So, we are still working on that and the Insta uh, revision plan 3.0 will be released uh, very soon and once that is released, uh, you know, uh, we will we'll make, we'll make a video on that very soon as well. Okay. So, this is about Insta revision plan 2.0, the mains preparation and the next 70 days of your preparation. Okay, so please be very focused. Some people may feel that this plan is a little tough, or some people may feel the plan is very tough. It is okay to feel that way. It doesn't mean that you are weak. Make sure that whatever you feel tough, the tough or whatever rigidity that we have created is created by design. The reason is we have created that toughness to make sure that you inculcate the discipline. You keep pushing towards the scenario of achieving 100%. Even though if you have not achieved 100%, even if you are there somewhere near that score of 100%, even then it is fine. Okay, So, be confident and do not put down yourself just because the plan is tough. Okay, Be flexible to adjust the plan to make sure that improve upon your weaknesses, to make your strong points more stronger. That is okay. Okay, But do not make it so flexible that it does not push you every day. Okay, It should not be that, uh, that uh, you know laid out as well. Okay. With that, I, have, I hope I have been informative and I hope it, uh, you have got the clarity on what this Insta Revision Plan 2.0 is all about. Uh, I will be seeing you people uh, you know, in Insta Revision Plan 3.0 how to go about it for the prelims. So, good luck with your studies. Be very focused. Finally, uh, I would like to thank you know, uh, each and every members of the Insights team for making this possible, for making everything possible even during these hard times. Uh, acts off to you people. And then I would like to tell everyone that whatever situation that we are in, this too shall pass. Okay? We will move through this hard times. We will hope for a better future. But the better future is only possible if we all act united, if we all act responsibly. With that, please be safe, stay healthy, stay home. Thank you guys.